In the previous chapters, we added the graphic elements into the SVG element by placing them into the local coordinate system that started in the upper left corner and ended in the lower right corner. I can honestly admit that I was cheating. This was done consciously. I didn't want to confuse you from the very beginning. And now the time has come. And I will explain how the SVG actually works. Each time you insert the SVG element into the HTML or XML document, the SVG element creates two initial coordinate systems. The first coordinate system is the initial coordinate system of the viewport, which can be anywhere in a document and whose size depends on the height and the width attributes. I call it the visible coordinate system layer, which to be honest hasn't any graphics. And now I assume you have a question. Are you saying that the viewport doesn't contain any graphics? Then where is the graphics? As I said, the SVG element creates two coordinate systems. The second coordinate system is the initial local coordinate system which by default starts at the same point as the viewport coordinate system. But unlike the viewport coordinate system, this coordinate system is infinite. The local coordinate system is the place where the graphics lives. How does the local coordinate system work? You will learn in the next lesson.